I have entered here, so I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, when I was probably in second grade the second time, because I did fail second grade, when I lived with my dad in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, I was a tomboy until probably the uh, half of sixth grade, to, I was a tomboy. Loved to get my outfits completely dressed and up, had my hair always in a ponytail, loved to burp the alphabet. I was extremely a tomboy. I went to be good sports, but I was really bad because I was accident prone. But I love sports, so I would try out for, uh, I tried out for color guard, softball. I did make color guard. Soccer, which I did well in, but we didn't have enough players. I was the fastest runner. I tried out for cheerleading twice, one at the school, one at our church that we used to go to, and my sister made me. I really didn't want to do what she made me. And when I lived with my mom over in, like, Newcastle, Delaware, what to carry Downey, I did gymnastics, I did ballet, tap, Girl Scouts, and I guess you could say I was sort of popular in the mean girl, but then I grew out of that. Like, I was kind of trick people into doing what I want them to do, and I got a guy who was in the second grade, and I really did like him at the time, but then we both kind of just called it quits, if you can even say it was my first boyfriend. And then, when I was back to Pennsylvania, New Jersey, when I was like towards the end of sixth grade, into seventh, eighth, and part of ninth grade, I love to wear skulls and black and read egg around poo and would do nothing but like be super goth and talk depressing and I read all that stuff. My hair would still be in a ponytail but I loved, I have like a whole skull collection still. I used to like have everything sculled and in black like I love the color black. When I was Back to Newcastle, Delaware. Sorry, I'm jumping around on. My favorite color was yellow for the longest time. And then when I got to like, gonna say like half of ninth grade, like towards the end to like soccer year, I loved to wear short skirts, high heels, makeup. And guys actually start noticing me after I kind of changed from being goth to tomboy to super girl. And now I just can kind of book combined like some days I'll be more golf like I like to wear my skull still I'll be super girly with like my bows I can't wear short skirts as much because I have a kid or like you know sometimes I have shorts and messy hair I don't care what I look like other days I'll be like so girly that like I'll wear all makeup walk off purses I wish I could wear heels still. I love flip flops. Flip flops I love. Sneakers I don't mind. But my feet, my RSD, you know, King, Mrs. King, Mr. King. It puts me in a lot of pain to wear like sneakers. But I still really do like Hot Topic. But I also like Forever 21, American Express, you know, JC Pennies. I don't mind getting stuff at Target depending on what it is. Like certain outfits just don't fit me there because of my thyroid making me go from 104 pounds to 158. So I'm like extra large right now due to that. So not everything fits me well, so it's hard to find my size. But so far I've got a lot of outfits from Hot Topic because they do care extra large. And they even show like more, I'll say thicker. Because they're, you know, not super skinny, but not, like, obese girls in their magazines. From, like, they'll have skinny to thicker. Sometimes they'll even have, like, girls who are... They don't care about size. They just want to make sure you look good in your clothes and know how to show it off and all of that. Which is why I have a coloring book for guys. Because I used to be very good. A panther mulling a teen mess. I can't actually see that happening. Pot and kettle. I'm very big on don't hurt animals. Like, I try to get most of my clothes from, like, no, made out of no animals. Most. Like, sometimes depending on the outfit, they could be, but, like, I don't really believe in animals. That's just me. I also don't eat meat. 
and we'll figure out, oh, this is probably just something you're saying. I haven't eaten meat since I was eight. And yeah, when I was eight, I probably, I had, my parents tried to make me eat meat. Sometimes I would hide it from mom. Other times, like, I didn't realize there was meat in it. But I tried my best not to eat it. And like, to this day, I try not to even eat eggs. Even though it's harder than you think. But I've been trying to be careful. I eat cheese, so I'm not a vegan. And the reason I eat, probably eat cheese now, because I thought about being a vegan, is I have food allergies that make it hard not to, to eat fake cheese. Like, I can't even eat squirt cheese. Like, if the cheese has, like, dye in it, I get really, 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 I have an allergy attack. So, fake cheese might be harder for me. Like, I don't know what kind of cheese they give vegans. So, like, if it has, like, dye in it, I can't eat it. Like, I have to eat special peanut butter and jelly. Like, Skippy's peanut butter, depending on the kind you get, has no food dye in it. I can eat shrimp jelly from, like, the special store we go to. They even make, like, special lollipops and gummy bears with no food dye. It's all with fruit juice. The only fruit I can't have is blueberries because I'm allergic to blueberries. You'd be surprised if that all has food dye in it. But, yeah, I'm sort of kind of like a goth, tomboy, girly girl. I, I pretty much... Some days I'm more girly, some days I'm more goth, some days I'm more tomboy. Sometimes I mix it up. Like, I could wear a pretty... I have a white dress, I think you've seen, where it's like skull, but pretty. So it's like a goth, girly look. Like this. This is a sh... Like a... It's a... It's not a coat, but it's not a shirt. And it's white, but has skulls on it. I actually really like it. I picked it up myself yesterday. Well, bye for now.